Hey guys, it is Christy K and I'm here trying out some of the new products from Tarte. Tarte recently introduced their full bloom palette and my most favorite thing I'm excited about is the Shape Tape Cloud Coverage Foundation with the SPF 15. Um, it's a medium to buildable coverage. It's a lot lighter than the face tape, but still gives you coverage. So if you guys like this look and you want to see how I got it, keep watching. Starting with my Tarte Quick Stick, I'm going to be using this as the primer for my eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna use the heat from my fingers to finish blending it out. Taking some Shape Tape Concealer and I am just gonna highlight my brow bone with this. I'm just gonna blend it out with a concealer brush to make sure everything transitions smoothly. Now for my new fave, the Tartlet Full Bloom Palette. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. I love all the rosy tones. This palette has to offer as well as your neutral shades. Starting with the shade Sunflower and I'm just gonna apply that all over both lids. Then I'm taking the shade Independent and I'm gonna be adding it to the crease. taking the shade Garden to further deepen the crease and create some contrast. Come back in with a fluffy brush to just blend everything all together. This quick stick is dual ended so I'm going to take the other end and line. My lash line is perfect for when you're on the go, it's those two colors so you don't have to worry about carrying a shadow palette. Giving my lashes a little curl, preparing them for my falsies. I'm filling in my brows with my Tarte Big Ego Dual Ended Brow Stick. I'm starting first with the pencil side and then when I'm done I am going to flip it over to the other side and use the tinted brow gel to fill in my brows and give them a thicker look. Priming my face with my Tarte Face Tape Hydrating Primer. Now for the star of the show, Tarte Shape Tape Cloud. There is a dual ended brush made for this, so I'm gonna use this as I apply my foundation and concealer. It's super lightweight, it's cloud-like, which is why they call it cloud, but I love how it feels and I love how it's not too heavy. I get coverage and you can still see my freckles, so I love it. And it also has skincare properties in there for hydration and for brightening dark spots on your face. I am here for it. We're giving natural today, so I'm just using a Shape Tape shade a few shades darker than me so that I can create these shadows. This is the jam right now, even though I feel like there's hella money to get right now. But I was vibing, y'all. Let me have my moment. Back to the business. Going back to my shape tape for my highlighting shade to add the brightness to my face. I'm taking a different brush to blend out my contour because I want to mix that with my foundation shade. I'm done serenading you guys for the evening. Hopefully you enjoyed the show. Now that it's mostly blended out, I'm gonna go back in with my Tarte brush because I can mix the two so it looks more natural. And just taking the other end of that brush to blend out my concealer. Sir John, Beyonce's makeup artist, said that he likes to blend out concealer with a brush. So now that is my new favorite thing to do. Also, you get more coverage this way. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, I put on this first lash, it popped right on. The second one gave me some issues, so I just moved on and applied some Laura Mercier underneath my eyes and wherever I put them highlighting concealer. And I'm gonna finish off my face with my Tarte Face Tape Powder and just buff that in lightly because I still need y'all to see these freckles on this face today. 
I'm using some setting powder to sculpt my face and make my contour pop a little bit more. I don't really like to bake like that, so I'm gonna dust it off almost immediately. I'm going more natural with my blush today. I'm gonna use a 12 hour Amazonian clay blush in the color Expose. And then I'm gonna top it off with the Fantasy 12 hour highlighter from Tarte. So I know KKW liners are not out anymore, but I still love it. It's bomb, it goes on good, sorry. And I'm topping it with the MAC Legendary for my red, because you know I love a good red. This is one of my favorite reds. I'm gonna finish setting my face with my Tarte Maracuja setting spray, the mist one. I like it, it's so light. So this completes the look, you guys. Um, what I do like is that the coverage is not full, full coverage, unlike the Shape Tape Foundation. Something that I'm trying to work on this year is letting my freckles shine through more because I tend to cover them. A lot of people don't know that I have them unless they see me fresh face. Um, but I like how it looks. I like how my skin looks. I like how I'm like glam, but still like not overdone. I was really, really happy with this Tartlet palette. It's so pretty. Um, it's a lot of like mauves and like softer pinks in here that I'm really loving and I was just looking in my closet I got a few things that go with this so it's gonna encourage me to step outside of my comfort zone of my golden browns Even though I did that today, but I'm wearing black and a red lip So I didn't get to do that But I am happy with the overall finish of this I like how it's settled with the face tape and even though this is buildable I put it on lightly because again, it's about letting my freckles shine through even my brows came out good. Like, I'm very, very excited. And even these um, quickie sticks are bomb. I use this as my base today, but the quickie sticks also have like a liner. So it's like, these are great to keep in the car for like, you know, quick little lines and stuff. Keep a makeup bag in the car because, you know, life happens. I always get calls at the last minute and I don't wear makeup every day. And if I get that call, I need to be able to hit it. And I don't always have time to go home. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up for more makeup videos. Matter of fact, I'm going to link some here for you if you have not seen any of my makeup videos. There'll be some there. And for makeup videos, for hair videos, make sure you give it a like. Make sure that you're subscribed and also make sure that you turn on your notifications. With that said, you guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah!